What's up guys? Ah oh, man, I know it's been a month, probably over a month since I made a last video. And uh, if you haven't told, or if you haven't uh, been able to tell, camera quality is probably better. Hopefully it's better. I uh, got a new camera. Recently I got a Canon EOS T5i. So it's much better than the GoPro to show around like this. Obviously I'll have the GoPro when it's on the car or anything like that, but on something like this, I'll be using this camera for now on it. It's much better quality, as you can tell. There's a car back there. And, uh, so in the last little bit, I haven't been able to do much. But I did get something pretty cool that, uh, if you follow me on Instagram and all that, uh, you'll be able to see that. But, I will show you right now. I did get some wheels. You can see those. They're square G6s, and uh, I bought them used from my neighbor, and he had them uh, powder-coated gray like that, so they used to be the all-silver finish, but he had them powder-coated gray, which I think they look pretty good. And then on the back, I still have my drift spares that I got earlier, uh, because if you see over here, these don't fit at the moment. Uh, with these tires because these are 235, 235 45s and they're just too big uh, especially since I haven't rolled the fenders yet in the rear so it was chopping up chopping up the tire everywhere I don't know if you can see that but they're definitely not rolled so I had to throw these on here it looks like crap but it looks good with all the uh, with both wheels on it and I had it for a little bit if you follow me on Instagram uh, I'll put it like right there Dylan underscore Smitty uh, you'll be able to see the car with the uh, both wheels on it with the picture but I'll be rolling my fenders within the next week so it should be fine but for today I went ahead and uh, got a buddy who works at AutoZone so I just said Fuck it, he got me a good deal. So I got some NGK spark plugs. I'll be just putting those in today. Uh, show you guys how to do that. It's obviously pretty easy. And just be talking and kind of updating you guys on anything else that I've done. Alright guys, so I've already gone ahead and done the first one. Now I'm going to do the rest of the three. So it's very, very simple. Uh, all I do is just wiggle this out. There it is. Pop that off. Spark plug wires. And now you want to use a 5 8 5 8 socket with an extension to reach because it's all the way down there. And uh, ratchet. And then uh, there is an actual socket made for spark plugs that would have a little uh, like rubber seal inside here. So when you stick it on, it locks into the uh, the nut and then pulls the spark plug out so you don't have to reach in there. I don't have one of those. I thought I did, but I didn't and I don't want to go back to the store and buy one. So I'm kind of sketchily jerry-rigging it. I wouldn't do this at home, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So you want to just unscrew it like a normal bolt. Be careful with it. And then at this point, once it gets loose enough, I take it out and just carefully unscrew it by hand because you don't want to ruin the threads. I'm going to take all the precautions you can. Until you feel it loose. And there it is. Now what I'm doing is I have, I'll focus on it, I have this little hook which I'm going to be taking and putting it under the, uh, the spark plug and pulling it up because I don't have that little thing so or that right uh, socket. So this works, I did it on the other one and it works fine so that's what I'm going to be going ahead and doing. my left 
light. Sand in there. Fuck this down. Just like that. This is gonna be hot, so I'm gonna it And so you can see here, this is the spark plug that was in the car. So that is the spark plug that was in the car. It's really not that bad. It's a little corroded, but it's really not that bad. It doesn't have oil, no oil, it's all dry. But you should replace them anyway. I don't know when the last time they were replaced was. So I figured me knowing is a good thing. Now when you put this in, I'm going to slide it in and then hand tighten it until you can't anymore because you want to be really careful with the threads. Keep going until it gets a bit hard. There it is. Now you're going to pop on your socket. I don't, I think, I'm actually pretty positive, they need to be torqued, but I'm just going to give it a good hand tight, and it should be good. That's that. So now, I'm, then you just take your wire, pop it again, just like that, and you're done. Do that for all four, and you're all good to go.